First of all, their societies are entirely in instinct driven, whereas we have a little wiggle room. We can, when our uh, drives and their instincts really uh, move us toward this destruction, we do have the ability to see that and see enough into the future. And the ants don't have that capacity, but they don't need to because by millions and millions of years of evolution, uh, ants that, uh, ant species, ant colonies that didn't, say, manage their environment, uh, didn't fit in with the rest of the living world, disappeared. So what we have today, there are 14,000 of them known, kinds of them known, species, um, are the survivors of uh, an immense number of evolutionary experiments over millions of years. But here's some other differences which would make you, if it's all not already, uh, this is not already done, be glad that you are not an ant. All ants are female. Males are tolerated only for a brief period every year in this nest, and they have only the function of inseminating new queens. And after they've done that, usually by both of them flying up to the air and meeting and having a, you know, a, a courtship and so on that I'd rather not put on this series, uh, the males die and the females come down and they start a little colony all of their own. But all of the individuals that are born to them and create the worker ants are female. Um, ants have warriors in the colony. They're individuals that are more likely to go out and defend the nest when it's threatened, and they can be even suicidal. And those are the older workers. Though, so as you age, you are uh, becoming more and more aggressive, more inclined to go out and throw yourself at an encroaching enemy. And for that reason, whereas humans send their young men to battle, ants send their old ladies. Well, I could go on with many other differences, <laughs> but uh, uh, those are just a couple to indicate why we should not be too uh, responsive to Solomon's advice, go to the ants, thou sluggard, and study her ways and be wise. Um, you can learn some things from them, but if you study them and too closely and imitate them, you will not be wise.